UW Health Clinical Dietitian Michelle Swader is back with us. Good to see you. Good to see you. Happy New Year, I guess. I've seen yes, you since it's right. a little late in the year, but <laughs> we're talking food prices. And why, why are they so high right now? There's actually several reasons, which makes it really complicated. We obviously have the avian flu, which affects eggs, but we also still have some COVID lingering transportation costs. Um, farmers are starting to raise livestock from scratch again, so there's a delay in what's available for meat. Even the war in Ukraine affects wheat prices, so there's a lot of different things that are affecting almost every aisle in the grocery store. Is there a way to combat that? There's a few, some, some newer tips. Um, traditionally, your local cheese shop, your local butcher shop, your farmer's market eggs, used to be more on the expensive side, but now because they're local, you don't have to deal with a lot of those extra costs. So you might actually find more affordable prices in those places now than you used to. And shop around? Shop around, definitely. If you have the ability to go to different stores, you can start off at, at more of a discount store, you know, uh, an Aldi's or a Walmart. And then if there's something a little bit more higher end or something specialty that you can find at those places, hopefully you'll save enough money to be able to get what you need. Um, there's a lot of hand wringing over the price of eggs. Yes. They're up. But they're not outrageous. Yeah, I mean, you hear stories the national average is, is up 50 to 60 percent, but I think if you look in our grocery stores in the Midwest, you're not going to see as high of prices. You're going to pay more than you used to, but sometimes even the egg beaters might be cheaper that day than buying the actual, you know, carton of eggs. So again, shopping around is always a good idea, and different stores might have different prices. Are there protein alternatives? Definitely, you know, we've talked about eating less meat for climate reasons here in the past, but now a lot of people are doing meatless meals every once in a while just to help on the cost of meat. And you can still, you know, it's still a meat, but you could maybe do affordable fish or you could do um, some of the more plant-based, obviously tofu, but also um, nuts and seeds and, and yogurts and different types of proteins. And these prices affect lower income people the most and they still want to make, have nutritious meals. Any, mm -hmm. any tips there? Yeah, one thing that I like to do, it, it's good this time of year anyway, is just to kind of do a, a clean out the pantry, clean out the freezer day where, you know, maybe you've got some meat that's been in there forever. Maybe you've got some veggies or some rice. Make a family challenge. Try to throw together a stew or a soup or an egg bake that takes a lot of different ingredients and it's pretty forgiving. And then you don't need as high of a grocery list because a lot of the stuff you can pull from your own pantry that's just been kind of hanging around. Good advice. And prices should come down eventually. Yes. Lots of different reasons. Michelle, thank you. Thank you.